Hey everyone, I'm Michael from Messenger Bag Media, and today we're doing something I know a lot of you have been waiting for. A three-way comparison between the CalDigit TS4, the TS5, and the TS5 Plus. If you've watched our previous videos on the TS4 and Thunderbolt 4 Pro docks, you know Adam and I have been huge fans of them since launch. And if you've seen our other video reviewing the TS5 and TS5 Plus as individual products, this time we'll specifically be comparing them against the TS4 and whether or not it makes sense to upgrade if you already own one. After all, these things aren't cheap. Like CalDigit's new Thunderbolt 5 models, the TS5 and TS5 Plus are here, and they bring some really interesting improvements. Before we jump in, I just want to mention that CalDigit sent us both the TS5 and TS5 Plus for review, though there was no expectation in relation to the type of coverage we would provide. We're here to give you our unbiased opinions on these products, so with that, let's compare the latest and greatest to the TS4 and Thunderbolt 4 Pro Dock. The CalDigit TS4 has been the gold standard for Thunderbolt 4 docks. 18 ports, rock solid stability, and 98 watts of power delivery. Now, with Thunderbolt 5, CalDigit is pushing forward with higher bandwidth, faster USB ports, and stronger charging. Both the TS5 and TS5 Plus support Thunderbolt 5's new 80 gigabits per second bi-directional bandwidth, with boost mode up to 120 gigabits per second for display-heavy setups. They're fully backward compatible with Thunderbolt 4 computers, but to actually take advantage of the new speeds, you'll need a system with Thunderbolt 5, like Apple's M4 Pro or higher MacBook Pros or Mac Studio. This does not apply to Apple's newly announced M5 MacBook Pro. Here's where things start to diverge. The front of the TS5 Plus and TS4 look nearly identical. Both give you a USB-C port, a USB-A port, and SD and micro SD card slots. The TS5 Plus adds a higher power USB-C port that can deliver up to 36 watts, which is great for charging phones or other devices faster compared to the 20 watts on the TS4. The base TS5, however, drops that front USB-A port entirely. That's not great if you regularly plug in thumb drives, microphones, or card readers that still rely on USB-A, as it means your only option of USB-A is on the back of the device. Now let's move to the back. The TS4 has 18 ports total, one Thunderbolt 4 host port, two Thunderbolt 4 downstream ports, four 10 gigabit USB-A and one USB-C port, DisplayPort 1.4, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and 98 watts of host power. The base TS5 has 15 ports total, but now with four Thunderbolt 5 ports, one for your computer, and three you can actually use. That's one more than even the TS5 Plus. However, it loses two USB-A ports compared to the TS4, and even worse, one of the USB-A ports is now USB 2.0, an extremely strange downgrade in 2025. The TS5 Plus, clearly the new flagship, jumps up to 20 ports total, adds two extra USB-C 10 gigabit ports over the TS4, upgrades Ethernet to 10 gigabit, and modernizes DisplayPort to 2.1. It also introduces dual USB controllers, which we'll talk about in a minute. So the summary, the TS5 Plus expands performance, while the TS5, oddly enough, expands Thunderbolt connectivity. One of the biggest upgrades on the TS5 Plus is something you won't even see, the internal dual USB controllers. Most docks route every USB port through a single controller chip, meaning all of your drives and peripherals share the same bandwidth pool. That can create bottlenecks when you're using multiple high-speed SSDs or video capture devices. The TS5 Plus fixes this by splitting its ports into two separate 10 gigabit per second controllers. One controller handles the front USB-C and SD card ports, as well as the rear Thunderbolt 5 ports, while the second controller handles the front USB-A port, as well as the remaining USB-C and all USB-A ports on the back. So if you're transferring data between two SSDs on different ports, each can reach its full speed simultaneously without throttling each other. 
In real world use, that means faster, more stable transfers for video editors, photographers, and anyone dealing with large data sets on multiple devices, even under heavy loads. To be honest, this is one of the key differentiators between the TS5 and TS5 Plus. No version of CalDigit's docking stations has ever had this capability. Both new docks deliver 140 watt host charging up from 98 watts on the TS4, which makes a difference if you're running a 16 inch MacBook Pro under full load. The TS5 Plus also has a 330 watt power supply, ensuring it can keep all ports powered, even with multiple drives, displays, and network devices connected. Here's where I think the oddest choice about these docks comes in. The TS5 includes four Thunderbolt 5 ports, while the TS5 Plus only includes three. Now, technically one port is always used to connect your computer, so that means you get three usable ports on the TS5, but you only get two on the TS5 Plus. Why, why, why? I know that several people may find use for having DisplayPort instead, but as someone with an Apple Studio Display Monitor that uses Thunderbolt to connect, I would have preferred having the additional Thunderbolt 5 port on the TS5 Plus, just like the base TS5. Honestly, that's my only gripe with the TS5 Plus. While it's the more powerful dock overall, it's slightly less flexible if you rely on multiple Thunderbolt accessories instead of standard USB-C. Oh, and speaking of displays, the TS4 handles dual 4K or a single 6K display, while the TS5 and TS5 Plus can drive dual 8K or triple 6K setups on supported systems, though that depends heavily on your laptop's GPU and Thunderbolt 5 capabilities, and triple display is Windows only. So let's get to the part that actually matters. Which one should you buy, and is it worth upgrading? If you already own a TS4, honestly, don't bother upgrading to the base TS5. Yes, Thunderbolt 5 is newer, but unless you already have a Thunderbolt 5 laptop, and right now that means an M4 Pro, MacBook Pro, or newer, you won't see any difference. And if you rely on USB-A devices, you'd actually lose convenience moving to the base TS5. Now, the TS5 Plus is a tougher call. If you do have a Thunderbolt 5 system, or you know you'll upgrade soon, the TS5 Plus gives you meaningful gains. Faster USB speeds thanks to those dual controllers, my favorite feature. 10 gigabit ethernet for networked editing or other networked needs. Higher charging capabilities for connected devices. And improved future proofing with DisplayPort 2.1 and Thunderbolt 5 architecture. For professional creators or anyone building a setup meant to last several years, that's a solid reason to upgrade. But for most current TS4 users, the performance you're getting is still excellent, especially since Thunderbolt 4 already supports 40 gigabit per second bandwidth, which is plenty for most workflows today. These devices are not cheap. Coming in at about 399 USD or about 569 Canadian for the base TS5, while the TS5 Plus retails for 499 USD or about 689 Canadian. As I mentioned, if you've already got a TS4 or Thunderbolt 4 Pro dock, I certainly do not think it makes sense to upgrade to the TS5. The TS5 Plus, that really comes down to your needs and comfort level spending several hundred dollars for the upgrade. If you don't already own a dock and were considering a TS4, skip it entirely and go with one of the new models. The TS5 is an excellent entry-level pro dock, even though it still costs 400 USD. Compared to the TS4, it's faster, only $20 more, and even offers that extra Thunderbolt 5 port no one else gets, as long as you don't mind fewer USB-A ports. But if you need the highest transfer speeds, 10 gigabit ethernet, or you're running multiple fast SSDs simultaneously, pay the extra 100 USD and get the TS5 Plus. It's the true successor to the TS4 and is well poised to be future capable for years. The CalDigit TS5 and TS5 Plus both move the needle forward, but they do so in slightly different ways. The TS5 is compact, fast, and gives you an extra Thunderbolt port, perfect for simpler setups. The TS5 Plus is the real professional's choice. It's powerful, efficient, and ready for whatever the next several years of connectivity look like. 
And the TS4? Still a fantastic dock, but unless you already own one, I wouldn't recommend purchasing it anymore unless you can score a deal as stock clears out. Do you already own a TS4? Are you looking to pick up a TS5 or TS5 Plus? Let us know in the comments below. Check out these videos here, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews and tech tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.